Hey, Cody. So we're looking at the new Flowpipe mod for running CIS benchmarks and fixing things according to the recommendations. And this is something you can do directly in your terminal, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. This is, um, you know, we created the mod because we wanted to give users a way to, like you said, do it directly in your terminal and not only detect, but also correct um, any uh, resources that don't quite meet your compliance requirements. All right, let's see it happen. So um, here in my terminal, I am currently in the directory that already has the AWS CIS mod installed and to show a bit more of, of what that means. Um, here, I, you know, we can see that the AWS CIS mod is installed at the top. And within that, it relies on the AWS compliance mod as well. Within that AWS compliance mod, there are multiple detect and correct pipelines. And these are really what the CIS mod slash pipelines are running in order to pick up those resources and then run their mediation actions. Uh, on and the AWS, well. the AWS mod, that's the library mod that actually has the, the machinery to do things with AWS, right? Yep, exactly. Within that AWS compliance mod, like you mentioned, there's that AWS library mod that has all of those base pipelines, in addition to the detect and correct pipeline, uh, which is also used for a lot of the approval flows in the mod. Okay, okay. But all you did was uh, run one install command to get all this stuff, right? Yep, exactly. One full pipe mod install command uh, for the AWS CS mod, I get all of its dependencies and all the sub dependencies as well. Nice. Okay, so it's a big benchmark. Um, let's pick one section to run. Which one do you want to do? Sure. Um, so let me jump over to the hub actually, and we can take a look there. Um, so this is the hub page for uh, the CIS mod. If I jump over into the pipelines page, on the left hand side, you know we can see which versions are currently available: uh, v3 and the re recently released v4 as well. Um, and within there, I think let's go ahead and run uh, section two for storage. Okay. Um, and just um, clicking in a bit, you know we can see there are multiple sections and multiple controls slash benchmarks um, within here. Okay. But if I want to specifically run all of section two, uh, right? So I could just page, grab the command right from there and paste it in. Yep, exactly. I can go ahead and just take this full pipe pipeline run command, jump back into my terminal, and I can go ahead and enter that exactly as is um, in my AWS CIS mod install directory. Full pipe will walk me through it all and it'll give me um, the ability to make a decision on a per resource basis. Got it. Um, so you can see now I'm in section two and I start out with section 2.1.1, look at S3 and their bucket policies and are, are you know looking at are they enforcing SSL? For this particular bucket, the first one I have a choice. I can either skip and move on to the next resource for evaluation, or I can actually modify this bucket by adding a new bucket policy statement in that enforces SSL. Um, in this case, I'm not quite ready to make a decision, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Um, and here, you know, very similar, it's just the next resource. So like I mentioned on a per resource basis, I can make decisions um, for these. Unfortunately, I'm not quite ready to make a decision yet, um, but Flowpipe makes it really easy to also skip over them if, if, when I'm not ready. Okay. So these look a um, little different. Yep. So these, uh, you'll notice for 2.1.2 and 2.1.3, um, they're still running detections, but like you mentioned, they're a little different in the sense that they're not asking me uh, to take what action to take on them. And that's because some of the remediations or corrective actions are a little inconvenient or more complex to run. So for these, um, there may not be something you can select. However, Flowpipe will still notify you and let you know which resources are non-compliant for each section. And then okay. you can go and investigate and manually uh, fix them. Fair enough. But, well, but here's something we can do. For this bucket, again, not quite re ready to make a decision on it. However, for this one, um, I am ready to make a decision. And uh, you know, here I can see from the message that my block public access settings are not um, enabled, but I would like to enable them. OK, let's, uh, let's just check it in AWS first to see yep. the state of the, of the bucket. Good idea. Um, so here we can see for this bucket that, indeed, um, I am not currently blocking public access uh, for this bucket. I can, instead of skip, I will select the block option. Here we can actually see that Flowpipe has told us that it actually blocked the public access for that particular bucket. Um, you know, ran in the background. Okay, I, I believe you, but uh, let's prove it. Okay, so let me jump back in, um, and I'll go ahead and refresh the page. And here we can see that the setting has updated, and now all of the settings for blocking public access are now enabled, uh, which Flowpipe had just done really quickly in the background. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then this is it. I don't have any, uh, there are no resources that 
are non-compliant for these types. And, and that's it. That's all of section two. Okay. So can we, can you list out the mods for me again? And let's think about the layers. So the CIS mod is built on top of AWS compliance, um, mm -hmm. which is where these detect and correct pipelines are, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But I can use them individually. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. well. So let's look at what that would be like. You know, Can you show me over in the hub where uh, compliance um, has its pipelines listed? Mm -hmm. Yep. So on the hub, here's the AWS compliance mod um, with some info on how to run it. Um, but you know, like you said, what's really important are, are the pipelines. So within the AWS compliance mod, we have a heap of pipelines that you can run and plug and play and use um, however you like. Um, if I go ahead and search for that particular one that we ran as part of CS 2.1.4. So here, uh, this is actually the base pipeline that the CIS pipeline uses. Um, okay. So this is looking um, you know, at S3 buckets with the block public access setting in particular, has some instructions on how to run. Um, so this is, like you mentioned, its own standalone pipeline that anyone can run. You can use in, in another mod um, or, or you know, use however you like. Okay, which I think includes that I could schedule that pipeline to run you know, once a day, for example, and automatically uh, detect and fix all new buckets. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you run in the background, you also have the option of adding uh, one or more approvers on there. So if you don't want things automatically running in the background for the remediation actions, you can have it notify um, whoever you have set up as approvers just to make sure that you're making changes safely within the environment. Okay. All right. So uh, what, what would you say is the key takeaway here? Well, it's really nice to be able to run detections like you can in the PowerPipe AWS compliance mod and other mods. Um, really nice to be able to run those detections, get all the information, get all the resources, um, it's really difficult afterward to actually remediate those. The question is, well, how do I remediate these effectively? How do I right. update all these resources to be compliant? Um, each resource is, has its own context, requires its own decision. So with this or with these flow pipe mods, what we really want to do is have all the detect and correct pipelines available, wrap them around things like or frameworks like CIS or HIPAA, and then from there. Um, give users a nice experience where they feel like they're having their hands held through it. So there's a checklist the of things you got to run down and this organizes that for you and walks you through it. Uh, yep, exactly. Well, nice work from you and the team. Thanks for showing us, Cody. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try out Flowpipe for yourself, download it today for free at flowpipe.io. See the description for links and other details.